Hey folks, welcome to the third video in the Google App Sheet tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an inventory management app using Google App Sheet. Um, this is, I think, going to be the last video in the tutorial series. I'll be creating more videos in the coming months on App Sheets. I'll be going more deep into uh, App Sheet by focusing on each functionality. So stay tuned for more videos. In this video, we're going to be creating an inventory management app. So this app can be used for say keeping track of stock, sales, restocking and more. This app will have the following features such as adding stock to the inventory, selling the items from the inventory. And as soon as an item is out of stock, it will send, maybe it will lay out the items or it will specify that this item needs to be restocked immediately since there are no items in the inventory so this video is again going to be divided into two parts the first part i'll be just showing you how to create the app and set it up followed by setting up some codes and stuff and we'll be making our first sales entry in the app in the second part i'm going to be showing you how to calculate the total inventory using some formulas and slices then we'll be seeing how to display the items that need to be restocked like as soon as uh, the number of items for a, a specific product reaches zero i want to say give a notification or display it that's saying this item needs to be restocked immediately so the step one is going to be having a sample google sheet so this is the google sheet that i'm going to be using this has a product barcode the product name the category under which it is to be listed the image of the product i've spent a lot of time searching for each of the uh, images and i've just copy pasted the links and then the initial stock value right the initial stock that is present in the inventory and the restock level at which like if the, the the restock level is that it there are 40 more 40 more kilos or maybe 40 more boxes of onions that can be restored so this is the restock level so uh we're just going to go ahead and create the app right so i'm just going to go to appsheet.com and just go to start for free And you can see these are the previous two apps that we had created the vehicle inspection app and the expense tracking app if you haven't watched the videos i'll be leaving the links in the description you can go ahead and check that out um this is the first way by which you can create the app is by just going clicking on make new start with your own data or you can directly do this now you can go to your extensions you can see app sheet here to go here and click on create an app it will automatically set the app in few seconds So here you can see that the app has has been ready i'll just minimize it so you can see um at the right side you can see the app view of how the app looks like and here we have the data with the primary views and the data here so i'm just going to go to my data i'm going to add the sales table that's going to be the second google sheet so in this sheet we have the timestamp the product barcode and the quantity of sales that has been made so as soon as the inventory owner or the manager of the st store gets an email or, a, or gets a notification saying this is the sale that needs to be made, he will go or he or she will go to the app and go to the sales section and make a sale there with the timestamp at which the sale has been made with the product barcode that he will automatically select from here and then the quantity of products that have been sold. I'm just going to go ahead and add this table here. You can see the sales has been added here and now here you can see this it has automatically categorized it to electronics, groceries, then we have some healthcare products, home and kitchen, personal care products. But I don't like how it looking like it's it's 10 then it's plug so it's not showing exactly what I want. So we're just going to go to our UX, that's going to be the UI and we're going to go to inventory here. Here, as we are discussed in the previous videos, we have the view type. So it's going to be card, form, dashboard. So you can try out all the various views that you want. But for now, I like the card form, so I'm going to do that. Then we're going to be doing the sort by options. It's already, it's not sorted since we changed some stuff here. We're just going to do sort by and we're going to do maybe or no we, we, we won't be sorting we, we're going to be doing a grouping we're going to group and then we're going to be doing group at we're going to do it by the category right so in electronics we have this with the plugs in groceries we have onions pulses bread cheese and prawns and stuff like that i'm um, just just go and click on save 
so now that we have selected this we need to go and look at the layout so i don't like this layout so i'm just going to go maybe to a small photo version of it here you can see the groceries it's, it's come but still the name i want the name to come first so the title that is there it, it i don't want it to be the category i want it to be the name of the product so it's going to be on it's going to be onions then i'm going to go to the subtitle that's going to be below it and say i want this to be maybe this stock that is available so i can see there are 50 onions there are 60 the there, there, there bread there's 30 cheese 50 prawns crab honey is 30 Oh, and you can if you want you can make it like this which looks more appealing so i'm going to go to this i'm going to do product I'm going to go to the subtitle and i'm going to say maybe the initial stock or you, you can have the product barcode also i'm just going to keep it as initial stock for now i'm just going to go ahead and click on save so now that we have uh, basically sorted the app the app is completely ready so we want we're just going to go to our sales here and we're going to make a new sale here but when i go here the timestamp i'm going to be adding some formulas here and but the product barcode i want it to automatically select the product barcodes that we have here for each of the products right so to do that we need to go back to our data we're going to go to columns and in the columns i'm going to go to my inventory here i'm going to go to scroll down to I'm going to go to I'm going to go to sales I'm going to go to product barcode and here we, we want to take a reference as we had done in the previous two videos to take reference from another, another sheet or column we need to do ref that's going to be ref and then we need to specify the source table that's going to be inventory so it, it's going to be uni whenever you do re cell re or column referencing between two different sheets in a main spreadsheet you need to have the name of the column same so that it takes these values and it doesn't get confused with the other values here so make sure that the column names are same right so i'm going to go here it's going to do ref okay i'm, the, I'm going to do this I'm going to click on done i'm going to go ahead and click on save and then now if i go here i click on add and i go to the category i can see here that the barcodes have come in right i, I can click on this i can just click on say this one it's a nevia face wash something and I can just add the quantity go ahead and click on save and if I refresh the app here you can see the sale has been made but once again this doesn't look that good right it doesn't look good I'm gonna go to my UX I'm gonna go close this go to go to sales here here we have an option to select so you maybe we can try out all the various view types that are available it can be maybe a dashboard or it can be a card right so a card looks better and then you want to maybe sort it by the time or the category at which so maybe i want to do that i'll do a group by so now i'm not going to be doing any sorting or group by and stuff like that but i'm just going to go to the formatting here the title i don't know i want it i want the product barcode to be here and the subtitle maybe can be the timestamp at which this product had been ordered I'm go ahead and click on save here you can see the app is fully functional and ready to go so we have made our first sale in the app and if i go back to my google sheet and i go to sales you can see at 1653 30 that's going to be 4 53 pm and 34 seconds the product barcode was this and the quantity of sale that is made is seven so the app has successfully worked and the data has gone into this sheet so this is all for this video i hope you have understood how to create a basic inventory management app uh, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the total inventory using the formulas and various slices in Google App Sheet. And then we will be seeing how to display all the items that need to be restocked in the app. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.